Hi, I'm going to show you a super simple little trick today that will make your videos look more professional instantly. Okay, so a lot of people, when they first start off making videos, they will stand about this far away from the camera. This is a really safe distance when you're shooting a video. Um, you know, not too close to that camera. Um, and they have a lot of headroom and usually a lot of room on the sides, kind of awkward, I don't know, so far away. So what is actually a lot better for your viewer is if you are a lot closer to that camera. Ooh, that's close. I do this on purpose. There's a lot of research uh, that's been done on uh, how close you should be to that camera and actually the closer you are to that camera uh, the more likely people are to click on your video open it and actually watch it because we like to make a connection with people and the best way to do that is sit up close to the camera especially considering a lot of people nowadays watch videos on smartphones and the further away i am from the camera the smaller i also will appear on those small screens all right so the second thing I do, instead of standing right in the middle, you know, uh, you could do this. I use the rule of thirds and I'm standing a little bit to the side. I'm actually standing on one of those lines. You can also, it's, it's a grid and you can actually turn the grid on if you are using your smartphone, for example. You just go to your camera settings, turn it on, and it will always be in the screen just like I'm showing you now. Um, it's very helpful. Why am I doing it like this? Because, um, well, first of all, it's an old photography, videography rule, um, which you, once you know this, you will see this everywhere. So you'll be watching Netflix tonight and constantly you'll be like, oh, rule of thirds, rule of thirds. And it's pretty much put the most important, whether it's a person or a product, you put that on a line uh, and not in the middle. Um, another thing is that when you're making a video, you have a lot of space here for things to add, to pop up. Names, cities, extra information. Tip one, um, nice little emojis, everything. This space is easily used for graphics and text, which is good. If you stand in the middle, it's a little bit more awkward. Um, and the third thing, the third reason why I'm also standing here is if you want to crop your video, to a square video, which you should if you're posting it on specific platforms, then uh, it's easily cropped. You just have to crop it this way and you can use apps like InShot or Quick to crop your video. I've made several videos about that, so you can check them out. Um, so yes, that's why I'm using the rule of thirds. Um, now, you can always, if you want to, of course, stand in the middle. <laughs> This is not totally, this is um, a rule that's a very basic rule, something that's really good to follow and very good to think about when you're standing in front of the camera. What is my framing like? And yes, the rule of thirds is a very good basic rule, but it does not mean that you always have to apply this rule, of course. It's just really good to know, especially when you are first starting out. All right, good luck with applying your rule of thirds. If you have any questions about making videos or video strategy, leave a comment and I might make a video on it. Follow me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.